Sarah Louise Rector. I'm the creator of the SLR Life, and I am so excited to have you try out this eight minute ab workout. That's right, just eight minutes of working the core. It's summertime, right? So I wanna help you really shred those abs, burn belly fat, get strong, start building that six pack, and just have you feeling so amazing. So no equipment is required, just you, and I hope you're ready to work some really fun exercises. Let's go. All right, so exercise number one, bring yourself down onto the floor, roll it down and clasp those fingertips, rest the head in the hands. Today's first exercise is just simple, alternating knee lifts, driving that elbow across. Let's go. Feel the belly button squeeze in and keep that low back down for me. Driving that knee up and don't worry if you're not all the way touching the elbow to the knee, even if you're just halfway, feel those lower abs. Let's really go for it. Woo, get that inhale, exhale going and feel that shred going in the core. I want you to feel so good. We're nearly there, 20 more seconds. Let's do it. Keep energy, I want you to feel elevated. You know, this is just the start of today. It's gonna to be such a fun medley of exercises. Less than 10 seconds. Inhale, exhale. Are you ready? and you can bring it down. Let's take up the knees together, legs together, keep that low back down, and you're just gonna start with the hands by your side and give me little baby butt lifts. Ooh, if you wanna keep the head up, you can, and start to just really work those abs. Let's go, guys. I'm gonna keep my head down for a few. I've got 45 seconds on this. Already feeling the burn. We're feeling the summer, the summer shred in those abs. And again, if you wanna keep your core nice and extra tight. I would lift the head up. I would use the hands there to support the head. Tuck the belly button in. Woo! Give me a little baby butt lift. Less than 20 seconds to go. Keep those legs nice and tight together. How are we doing for time? We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6. Woo! 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Head down, good job. Take one leg up, next exercise. I just want you to lift the butt off the floor. So single leg bridge position. Keep the leg nice and straight if you can. Point those toes. Doing so great, and here we go. Let's go for this next exercise. Use the hands in the side there, press them into the floor, and really focus on those lower abs. So you might only get off the floor a couple of inches, but that's okay. Just make sure everything is core focused. Remember, we're here to work the abs. We'll be switching to the other side very shortly. Keep lifting that butt off the floor. You gotta love a butt lift. Let's keep it going. Last less than 20 seconds. I'm really using my hands, pressing the palms into the floor. Feeling a little bit of booty and thigh as well. All right, let's go, last two, and one. Let's switch to the other side, place that foot down, give yourself a few moments here. And I just want you to give me that same sensation, leg extended, point those toes, and you're gonna squeeze that belly button in, and we're gonna start to just lift the butt off the floor. Are you ready? Let's go. So really feel that elevation. Try and get the foot straight above you. I know it's even hard just holding that leg in that frame there, but really try and keep that extension driving through that underneath foot, just so we can get those abs switched on. So you're actually getting a nice little lower body workout here, but it's all about being core focused, supporting that low back. It's gonna really help prevent any injuries in the low back, you know, if you build a core strength. How are we doing? We are doing great. Less than 15 seconds on this side. Inhale, exhale. Keep it going for me. Last three, two, and one. Good job, hug those knees in. Let's take a little rock up. Swing those legs behind you. And we're now gonna place the hands underneath the shoulders, knees as wide as hips, and we are just gonna curl those toes under, and we are gonna start by lifting the knees off the floor. Let's go, knees up and down. Woo, lift and lower. Engage the core, find those lower abs. I like to think of my lower back here and just really slightly tucking the tailbone under. 
only slightly, just so that you can really make sure those lower abdominals underneath the belly button are really playing a big part. If you feel like you've got it in you today, let's go for a nice strong hold. Keep those knees a few inches off the floor. If you want to do a little kick back and then back into it, go for it rather than coming down. Otherwise, just keep your knees down and up. Let's do it. Nearly there, last five seconds of this one. I'm going to hold it. Three, two, and one. Good job. Come off those hands for a moment. Next exercise, back onto it. You know, we're working those summer abs here, so we've got to keep flowing. Take the feet back. Find me a nice full plank and hold it. This is where we're going to be. If you want to come in and out of it, you're going to do down, down, up, up. Have a hold for a moment. If you've got it in you today to hold that, that full plank for the whole amount of time for this exercise, then go for it, right? Let's go. I'm going to hold. I'm going to squeeze the belly button in. Find that upper body strength as well at the same time. Woo! Remember, you can go down, down, up, up if you need to. Inhale, exhale. Squeeze that belly button in. Doing so good. How are we doing for time? We've got 15 seconds. Woo! Let's do it. Gosh, I'm feeling heat in the body. It feels so good. Last six, five, four, three, two. Bring it down. Woo! Come off those hands. Let the blood rush through the body there. <laughs> Let's swing it round. We want to keep moving. We're nearly there. Let's bring it onto the back again. Take one leg up. Extend the other leg. Hover off the floor and give me scissor legs. This is where we are. Should we do it? Let's go. Summer abs. We are here. Let's burn that belly fat. We're feeling good. Just alternating those legs one at a time. Catching with the hands there. The calf muscle around that area. If you need to be more down... You can either have head down or you can have the hair, hands resting behind the head. Woo! So good. Let's go. Oh, yes, we have a dog, a little puppy with us today. Oh, don't distract me, otherwise we'll have to go for longer. <laughs> Let's go. Work the abs. You've got this. Ten seconds. Woo! How are we feeling, Lulu? Have we got this? Yes, she's not feeling it. <laughs> Last four, three, two, one, bring it down. Last exercise for me, clasp those hands. Rest the head in the hands. Lulu, you're blocking the abs and this is what we're here for today. We are gonna do legs up. We're gonna do bicycle crunches. Alternating side to side. This is your finale. We're working abs, Lulu. How do you feel about that? Oh yes. Oh, you're supporting me, aren't you? You're making me work harder. Drive the elbow across to the opposite leg like we did at the start of today. But this time, woo, we've got those legs elevated. Here we go. Nearly there. Let's do it. Lulu, you're in the way of the abs, and that's why we're here. So come on, help a girl out. Let's go. 15 seconds. That's it. Try and build that cardio strength at the same time. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and bring it. Wow, that was our ab blast in eight minutes. I'm gonna rock it up. How are you feeling? Check in with yourself. Let those abs have a little relax. Hope you feel good. Why not try this full eight minute workout every single day for seven days? Really get that summer body ready. Feel strong in your core. You'll feel so great, I know it. And I hope I work out with you again very soon. I was your trainer, Sarah Louise Rector. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me an amazing comment. I'll see you again. Bye.